Along with that, we also have the spirituality that acts pluralism. Pluralism is the heritage of our country. That means what does it mean? Unity in diversity. It's not something negative. It's positive. Acceptance, appreciation, promotion of difference, people of different religion, people of different caste, people of different temperaments, people of different language. You know, you accept them, appreciate them and promote. So we will have a conflict-free society, a civilization of love. For this, we give training at different levels. When we go to schools, we address a large gathering of young students, short period, teachers also. But then an intensive training is given in our community in Indore, where they are given an exposure, where they see what is being preached, what is being taught is lived. For example, it's a community of different religion people living together under one roof. So they see people of other faith, people of other religions, people of other culture, they are living together. And that living together experience is a big thing for those who come here, principals, teachers, students. And they also see all that we talk to them, the values, they see being practiced here. That's one of the reasons why we conduct this program here. Sometimes some schools tell, why don't you come to our school so you can give this to so many people, 100, 200 people. I said, no, it will be an academic program. It has to be a touch and see program. They should be convinced. Young people need to be convinced. So they need to have an atmosphere. All that we speak, they should see yeah, it can be practiced, it can be practiced and being practiced. So we take a group of students, leaders of a school come here together with the principal and teachers and they have an intense program from 8 o'clock morning till 8 o'clock and after dinner also they have personal projects. We explain to them on different topics, we show them films, we give them biographies to read, we make them to write, a lot of work, and we present, ask them to present. So it is not only values are taught, but values are caught. Skill development is there. Along with that, we tell them how to form a vision for your life. How do you set the goals for your life? How do you set your priorities? How do you make your policies? These things are spoken to them during this one full year. It's a tight program. Lazy people cannot do this. That's why we want their teachers or their guardians, somebody to be there. They understand what is being done. They have to accompany them. And we have children coming from different families, different economic background, different cultural background. They all live together. They live together. They build a friendship, they share ideas, they share their life, you know, they share the rooms. We don't have a five-star type accommodation. They have to, they have to share the rooms and they interact. That makes a big difference.